Howdy guys, here today with the first gun I ever owned. Um, this is a Marlin Model 60. It is a 22 long rifle, um, semi-automatic with a tubular magazine, goes up under the barrel, uh, hooded front sight. Um, tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I got this gun when I was a young man. It's the first gun that my dad ever gave me. Um, when I got this gun, you could get a brick of 550 22s for $16.99 at the local Kmart. And uh, they're almost back down to that price, actually, which is really nice. Um, at one point, they were fetching 50 some bucks for a brick. Um, kind of made me sad. But anyway, um, this has had a lot of rounds through. It's a great gun. And a lot of your modern 22 long rifle blowback actions are copies, direct copies of this Marlin. Um, the Mossberg Plinkster would be one. Um, pretty much all of your low-end 22 rifles are a copy of the Marlin Model 60. So anyway, it's a really cool gun and I want to show you how to take it apart for cleaning because a lot of people don't know how to take it apart. Um, so anyway, the first thing you'll do is um, it's got this lever underneath the trigger here. You can use that lever to uh, unlock the bolt. Um, the bolt locks back on the last round, so that's how you know it's unloaded. But then you're going to go ahead and remove, go ahead and remove, just a quarter turn, remove your magazine feed tube, and lay it to the side, okay? Um, and, and this is pretty much an inert object at this point. Uh, it can't fire. Um, I guess if you stuck one in the chamber for it, it could fire one, but it certainly couldn't be a repeater anymore. Um, and then you're going to get your stock off, okay? Um, to clean this, you do have to take the stock off. So first, you'll take this front screw here, okay? Um, if I can get on here and get this thing loose because it's pretty snug. You'll take this front screw, okay? And you'll feel the whole front of the rifle start to rotate out of the stock. Um, you, you can see it wiggle. Um, and then you'll remove this rear screw here on the rear of the trigger guard. That's the other screw that holds this action in, okay? There are four screws total, one here, one here, both in the wood, and then two in the trigger guard, but the only two you have to remove are these two. So you remove this back screw here, and when you remove this back screw, this thing will basically fall out of its action, if I can get it done. All right, so that looks good. So out she comes. So anyway, Here's your stock. Um, you'll see that second screw on the trigger guard is literally just holding the trigger guard to the stock unless you have a reason to take the trigger guard out. Um, no need to remove it. And this back wooden screw actually goes up in, so here's that back wooden screw, and it actually goes up into the stock itself. Um, and I don't see that it holds anything. I've never taken it out. Um, if you look in the trigger group of this gun, you'll see some grit. And if you wanted to clean that really well, you'd take out that second screw, and I'm going to do that, and clean this trigger group so you can get to it better. Or you can take, uh, my favorite thing is just to leave it and blast this with gun, bl uh, with, uh, gun scrubber, and then uh, wipe it down with a toothbrush. Really take a toothbrush to it really well while it's in the stock. And all your, your loose liquids will come out of your trigger guard here. So anyway, um, that's pretty simple and self-explanatory. What I want to get to is the rifle itself. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and let this bolt forward now because I need it. I do need it forward. And here we are on the underside of this gun. Okay, here we are on the underside. So, and our goal is to get this bolt out. Okay, and the way we do that, there's two things holding this entire mechanism in. There's a pin at the front that this literally, I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see it, it just hooks under. And then there's a pin at the back that pushes through right here, okay? Hard to see even on the camera. And the side that's facing the camera is flat. And the side that's facing me is actually a split pin, okay? And what you're going to do, and I can't stress this enough, hold it down firmly. And press this pin out. Okay, you hear it pop, and you'll see it sticking out here. You'll grab this bottom side, 
and I can't stress this enough, hold it down. It is under a little bit of spring tension, not a lot. So you pull that back pin out. Okay, you see the nice hole where it was. You'll rotate this assembly up and you lay it to the side. Here's your entire magazine feed assembly. Okay, this does all your feeding. Um, it has your bolt hold open, um, actually has your hammer. So there's your hammer that actually fires the gun. Um, and then underneath that, you've got your bolt. Okay, and to remove the bolt on a modern Model 60, you've got a spring in here and you've got your bolt. And all you got to do is pull this thing back a little ways, not a lot. And I'll stick my finger in there. It's hard to see what I'm doing, but you'll pull that thing upward slightly and pull the bolt handle out. Okay, so you pull upward or downward, depending on which, in, issue, which way you've got the gun oriented, but pull it away from where the bolt handle is. Okay, and the way I've got it oriented, you pull it down slightly. You get this bolt handle out, and then you keep pulling until you get the whole bolt out. Okay, voila. There's your bolt, there's your spring. There's a small rod in that spring, don't lose it. Um, and it's pretty gritty, okay? Um, a long, 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 long time ago when I got this gun, I was a kid, and I did not know that I had to clean all of this. And my father didn't know I had to clean all of this. And the only thing I ever did was uh, wipe down the barrel from the inside. So I took an oily patch and ran it down the barrel. And then I... Um, Oh, always when I'm video recording. Anyway, um, so I would take an oily patch and run it down the barrel till I hit the bolt face. And that was it. That's all I'd do. And um, one day it started jamming. And I didn't know why. And uh, so I opened the bolt up and I kind of wiped out in here best I could. And it did okay for a few more months. And it started jamming again. And finally, it would jam pretty much every time I took it shooting. And I pulled it apart, and this thing was just nasty. I mean, I can't describe how nasty it was. Um, so I don't recommend you go that long between cleanings. But um, in general, these guns run thousands of rounds um, before you really need to tear them apart, you know, for function. Um, but anyway... Um, it's that easy, and then I'm just going to take um, some Ballastol or some Rim Oil or, or, or whatever your favorite oil is, and I'm going to take a rag. I'm going to clean all this area out. I will run an oily patch down the barrel. I'll also run one down the feed tube, okay, because you can get grit in there, and it can rust eventually. I've seen some with rusted tubes. So I'll clean that all up, and then after I clean all that up, of course, I'll scrub the bolt. Um, and you can see the bolt on the open side, the side that, that you can see, it looks great. But then on the inside, you can see it looks kind of rough. And one thing I want to mention about that is, is when you get something that hasn't been cleaned in a while, it's really just beyond filthy. Um, one of your best friends is this right here, 4 aught steel wool. Okay, you'll hear people call it 4 aught steel wool or grade number 4-0, okay? Um, it's the finest steel wool they make, and it will not harm a gun finish. And so you can take that and your favorite kind of oil, okay? You can take that and your favorite kind of oil, and you can scrub. And anything that's on there will come off. I mean, literally anything that's on there. And so um, just just an idea for 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 you guys who have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed let's say a toothbrush or something else and you just couldn't get something clean um, that's the way to do it um, when you get a spot that's just stubborn and it just won't come loose this will do it um, it also works on blued guns it will not take the bluing off of a blued gun and I'll show you that one day on a video because I've done it many 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 times and I truly do believe in it um, so anyway I'm gonna take some steel wool to this clean it all up and put it all back together um, but I just wanted to show you this. So let's do this in reverse. I'll put it back together for you, and then I'll take it back apart and clean it because I don't want to clean it on camera. It takes too long because um, I'm really meticulous about cleaning. So anyway, um, your spring goes back into your bolt first, um, and it does go rod out, spring in. Um, and, and I don't think, yeah, the rod will go in there if you try, but the rod has to be out, and I'll show you why. This rod has a little point on the end, and that little point, oops, okay, 
that goes off now. Engages a hole at the back of the frame here. Okay, and when I put this in with no spring tension, you see it's a bit long. And so you really got to work to compress this guy. Um, and all I can tell you is good luck. It takes a little skill, a little practice. Um, and I never put it all the way in. You see that bolt is sticking up. If I turn it over, you'll see the bolt is sticking up. Because, 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 I've still got to put the bolt handle back. Okay? The bolt handle. So I line the bolt handle up where I want it. And then I shove this the rest of the way in. And now we have, voila, success, okay? Um, so anyway, and then to put this guy back in, you turn it upside down, and it's really, really simple. You hook those front legs, press down, okay? If all is assembled well, it'll go down. Um, in my case, it's not wanting to, so let me see why. It may be that because I had it locked back when I... I will show you a fun little trick. It wasn't in the hole there. But anyway, um, you, you do have to make sure it's in the same condition it was when you took it apart. And so a lot of times you have to open the bolt. And there's your trick. You had to open the bolt because um, I had my bolt locked back when this was taken apart. Okay. Um, but anyway, you line that up. And then you push your pin through the back, and voila. Do not at any time take this apart, okay? Um, this has got a couple of E-clips here uh, and here. You've got some E-clips that hold some pins in. And these two parallel rails, they're literally just in there with those E-clips. There's a lot of spring tension on these things. Um, and the way I understand it, these are put together in a special vise that kind of holds everything for you to put those E-clips in. It takes about four sets of hands to put this back together, and I know that from a very hard-earned lesson when I was a younger man, um, and I'll never take this apart again. Um, one other thing you may find is if you fired yours quite extensively, this little plastic piece may eventually break off. This is your buffer. It just helps with recoil. Um, you know, I don't know that Marlin sells another one of these, um, but on mine, it is held in with an E-clip. And so you could take that loose, pull that out, and put a new buffer in. Um, I did that for a friend of mine not too long ago. Um, I don't remember what brand of 22 he had, but he already had the part, and he just needed help putting it in. But anyway, mine's never broken, knock on wood. Um, but, but that's common that that'll break in, you know, extended use of a 22. But anyway, so I'm going to scrub all this up off camera, put it back together. But I wanted to show you how to take it apart, how to put it back together. If you've ever wanted to clean your 22 rifle, um, or if your 22 rifle's jamming and not working, um, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.